everybody, what is going on? This is Orvi3 and WO, bringing you another advice with Orvi. And I just wanted to say thank you guys for sending in your questions. Continue to send those in, and they can be about anything. I, I've got, you know, a pretty, uh, a few left, but um, feel free to resubmit them or send in new ones if you have new ones, because we need, we need more for the videos. So let's jump right into it. Question number one, if I can pull it up here, says... What would you suggest, or would you suggest saving money in high school? I have a job, but I'm not saving any money, just spending it. Um, I definitely would suggest sp saving money. Um, in high school, you obviously you probably have some responsibilities, but you don't have the full situation. Like you're not having to pay for you know house insurance and, and you know water bills and all that type of stuff yet. So you need to take advantage of that time to a, to an extent and. You know, it, you're not going to have another time where you can spend your money on whatever you want. You know, at some point you're going to have to say, "Oh man, the bills supersede the video games." You know, so, uh, so, you know, you don't have to be incredibly, incredibly strict like you would if you were a homeowner. But at the same time, it will benefit you greatly to save money now, and um, for any number of things. If it's for a, you know a car or just a, some accident and you have to replace something or uh, down the road, whatever you're trying to do now. If you if you kind of already know like oh, I'm just gonna rent an apartment for most of my life, um, then you know you don't have to be you don't have to save quite as much. Um, there's still stuff that you're gonna need money for, but it's not quite the same as if you were going to own a house. If you're planning to buy a house after college, whenever it is, if that's kind of your dream, then I would say to start saving a you know a decent chunk out of each paycheck. Uh, you can start a bank account. I my parents started me a bank account when I was like six years old and put like a couple hundred bucks in it. And bank accounts uh, will earn a little interest, not a whole lot. Now, there's other things you can do, too. There's money orders and things like that. We can get into more uh, in another video, or you can ask me in a, a message if you want to, where you might get a higher interest rate. But for the most part, yeah, definitely. Uh, it, and it doesn't have to be a ton. It can be 20 bucks out of every paycheck. You just put it in a can in your room. Uh, I do that as well. I kind of split and put some in my bank account, some I keep in just a cash drawer or something. Um, so, but yeah, definitely do that. Uh, to the extent of what you want to save really has a lot more to do with your dreams and your aspirations. Uh, if you have any other questions about it, then feel free to send me a message on uh, on YouTube. Uh, question number two. Orvi, I have a question. I like a girl a lot, but her best friend is my ex. So what do I do? Please help me. Okay, now that's kind of a tough situation. And it's one that you're probably going to run into a lot in the middle school, high school, you know, even in college. Um, it gets easier as they get older, but uh, it's still tough. The main thing that you want to do, and this really for any girl question, excuse me, step one is be honest, be open and, and upfront. Don't try to hide the fact that you want to ask this girl out from your ex. Uh, and don't try and hide the fact that you dated her best friend or, you know, anything like that. Uh, don't try and hide it. It's just, it's not going to work out. It, it'll end up blowing up. So be open and honest and upfront. Um, first of all, you know, I would talk to either one of them. If you're on good terms with the ex, then I would go to her first and just say, Hey, look, um, I know that we dated but and that you're her best friend, but we're broken up now. And I, you know, I just, I want to ask Susie. Uh, you know, to go to a movie, you know, or something, just kind of see if I like her or whatever. Um, is that okay? And even, you know, if she says yes, then fine. If she says no, then you can talk about it more and try and figure out, you know, what to do. Um, and then go to and talk to the girl that you like. Also, it would help if you know, for, kind of have an idea if you think she likes you or not. Because um, that'll save you a little bit of trouble if she doesn't, <laughs> if you know that she doesn't. But um, anyways... Just, you know, be upfront with them. Don't try and hide it. That's that's the worst thing you can do. And, you know, even if the ex isn't really okay with it, uh, if you're on good terms or bad terms, um, you know, depends on how much you like the other girl. You don't ever want to be a jerk about it. You don't want to just rub stuff in their face or just say, oh, screw you, I'm doing it anyways. But you two are broken up, so it is okay for you to go and try and date other people. So if the other girl likes you as well and wants to go out, you know, that's okay. Uh, but like I said, try and be as nice as you can about it, and at a some certain extent, if uh, if nice just isn't cutting it, then you know just do what's okay for you and and you and the other girl. So um, that's really it's that's a tough situation, and it gets tougher as in those school type situations because everybody's friends. You're gonna run into it a lot. So uh, as they get older, girls tend to not care so much about that. Uh, usually they stop caring when they turn like 45 or so. <laughs> 
<laughs> so you're kind of you kind of in trouble for a while. But um, no, it's the the main thing is just be open and honest, and that's really I know I just keep saying that, but if you do that, then you're not in the wrong. Okay, uh, no matter what, a lot of times in those situations like that, girls will start. You know, one of them gets jealous or angry. You know, oh, it's my ex boyfriend. You can't date him. Then those they'll, they'll start saying things and stuff like that girls sometimes do that not all of them there's a lot that are really good that won't but some a lot of them are going to do that so if you're honest with them then don't feel bad about however it turns out okay all right uh question three it says hey orby i've dated a girl for a couple of months and in my opinion the relationship is falling apart and i feel trying to repair it would only do more harm than good any tips on breaking up with her gently high school age okay uh, this is tough. Uh, nobody really wants to break up with people as far as you, you don't want to hurt them. You don't want to make them feel bad. Uh, it's just a, just a rough situation to get into. If it's to the point that you need to break up, uh, again, I'm going to start with the same thing from, you know, the last question is open and honest. You know, don't try and lie to her or anything like that. Uh, don't pull the trick that <laughs> where you just quit talking to her or where you, uh, you know, start being a real jerk until she breaks up with you. Uh, that'll work. They'll break up with you. But, you know, then if you ever want to date them again or if you ever want to <laughs> date one of their friends like the last guy, you're not going to be in a very good situation. So uh, you want to be up front. And, uh, you know, the main thing is don't do it in front of people. Definitely get, you know, somewhere where you can uh, be alone. Uh, you also don't want to do it over the phone or a text message or a Facebook message or anything like that. Uh, you want to meet in person and do this. Um, and as far as what you say, just make sure it's truthful. If it really is not her, it's you, then that's, you know, it's okay to say, but, uh, you know, don't pull out the cliches just because to just get to have something to say. Okay. Um, so what you really want to do is, um, talk to the girl and, and just kind of explain why you're feeling the way you are. Say, Oh, well, look, it just, we don't have that many things in common. It doesn't seem like, or, you know, I, I don't feel like uh, this is going to go into the direction that I want it to go in. Or like, you know, maybe she's got different aspirations or dreams. Like, I just, I'm not at that level yet. Whatever it is, just try and tell her the, the actual honest truth and tell her, you know, that you're really worried about not wanting to make her feel bad and get hurt and all that, so on and so forth. And um, just be as nice as you can. That's really all you can do. Uh, as far as how she's going to feel, depending, like I said, you've only been dating month for a few months. Um, so I'm guessing that's less than six. It's probably, you know, three or so. Uh, if it's that case, then hopefully she's not like all of my ex-girlfriends where they were like super attached and ready to get married. <laughs> um, if, if she's a normal person, then, uh, she'll, she'll probably be a little upset, but she probably won't be, you know, just bawling her eyes out ridiculously crying. Uh, so, you know, she'll probably handle it pretty decently if you're, if you're honest like that. Um... But yeah, I would definitely, you know, I haven't done a whole lot of breaking up with people in those situations. Usually it's been from someone where there was a huge fight and we broke up because of that. So as far as where to go and do it, I, a lot of people that you see on like TV and stuff, and I've even heard of my friends doing this, will do it like on a date. They'll take them to a nice dinner. That's apparently supposedly, supposed to, supposedly supposed to uh, soften the blow I don't know that it would. I wouldn't want to do it in a public setting like that. Um, I don't know the best place to do it, but I would probably try and get somewhere where it's just you and her. Um, and, you know, don't make her think she's going <laughs> Don't be like, hey, you know, I got great news. <laughs> and uh, make her think that you're going to give her a ring or something and then break up with her. So uh, I hope that that helped. I, like I said, I don't have a ton of experience in nice breakups most of my breakups have been you know horrible and wanting to jam like fingers into my eyes while they're happening so uh i can't help a ton on that but if there are any other little questions that you have feel free to send me a message i'll try and help as much as i can let me know how it goes too um yeah i don't know <laughs> that's that's tough you guys those were two tough situations dating someone uh who's your dating your best friends dating your ex's best friend and, uh, and breaking up with a girl. Those are those are pretty tough ones, guys. Those are good questions. So, again, uh, feel free to send in more questions to this uh, if you want to keep it going. And like I said, there's been a lot about girls, but I, I'm fine with answering those. 
have quite a bit of experience with uh, with horrible, horrible situations with girls. So uh, if you if you want to hear more about those, we might start a series. That could be its own. That could be its own year-long video series there. But uh, but yeah, I'm not sure what gameplay is going to go on this because. Uh, the one that I've got running right now that I'm looking at, I think I may have already used. So if I have, I might switch it up. Who knows? This video might already be over. I might be speaking to you from the, like, the future or something. I, I don't know. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, send more questions in if you want to. Thanks so much for sticking around and subscribing to the channel and, and all that. Uh, I really like having you guys around. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time.